Hello friends, my name is Theo, and today in this exciting Meissner Media tutorial, we are going to be going through three things that took me way too long to learn how to do in DaVinci Resolve that I will teach you how to do now. So, without further ado, let's hop into DaVinci Resolve and get started. Alright, so here I've got this shot that I took before shooting a concert, and I said, hey, that would be good for doing tutorial stuff on. So, pretty uninteresting, but it works. The first thing I'm going to show you is that Normally, a lot of times in color grading tutorials, you'll see the first step they do is they'll bring up their scopes and they'll say, all right, now let's make our blacks black and we'll make our whites white. And, you know, whenever you're using nice flat footage like you get on the Blackmagic Cinema camera, you know, it's fine. It looks great. But if you're trying to get that more smooth sort of airy-ish look, you can actually totally like forego that process. So DaVinci Resolve tip number one, adding contrast to your footage is cool and it is usually a good idea, but you don't always have to do it. It's a lot of the times people's first steps without thinking about it and, you know, maybe try not doing it sometime and see what sort of grades you get. So whenever I'm trying to get a nice smooth look, I'll just add saturation and now look at that. That is just nice and smooth and good looking. So it's not just leaving it flat, but just adding a little bit of saturation and say if you want to punch it up a bit. You know, you can do that. But lots of times I'll see people and they'll, without even thinking about it, go ahead and punch up the contrast. And you don't always need to do that. The next thing is how to create a kind of pseudo gradient ramp inside of DaVinci Resolve. And I learned a lot of color grading sort of theory, I guess, from working in Photoshop. And they have gradient ramps in there. And whenever I got into DaVinci Resolve, I said, man, how do I make a gradient ramp? Well, I'll show you. I'm going to add another serial node and then add a layer mixer node and now down here I'm going to reduce the saturation to zero and this basically works like a gradient ramp so let's say we're going to uh, add some contrast here and then we will make our create another new node and then let's say we want to push some blues in our midtones and some more warmer colors in our gains and just kind of pull those apart. And now we got a gradient ramp, just like we would have in Photoshop. And now you can combine this together uh, with just an overlay. And see, that's a little bit strong there. So this leads us on to tip number three, and that's reducing the opacity of a layer. So what I'll do is I'll just add another serial node after this layer mixer, because you can't connect two layer mixers together, one right after each other. And that's what we're going to be doing. So then I'll hit Alt L, create a layer mixer delete this connection and connect it up to our primary grade. And then from here, you'll see all we can see is our primary. But if we go to our key tab and we lower our output gain, and you see we're fading into our really extreme grades, so we can sort of split the difference. And now look at that. That is just nice and neat and looks good before, after. And you can, of course, reduce the gain of any node inside your grade. That output gain control is just basically your opacity control. And those, are three tips that you should know because it took me way too long to learn how to do them. And you see very quickly, you got a very nice commercial looking grade here, sort of a hint at one of the many ways to get orange teal, which I'm sure I'll be making more tutorials about in the future because of the floods of requests I get for orange teal looks. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you liked it, give it a like. If you didn't, give it a dislike. No matter what, leave your feelings down in the comments below. If you want to see more stuff like this, be sure to subscribe to the Meester Media YouTube channel. If you want even more goodness, check out our social medias. Always be sure to share this video with your friends so they can see what well, took me way too long to learn how to do. Also, if you're really into color grading amazingness, be sure to go to MeesterMedia.com slash products and check out the House Let's Pack. They are super great and handy dandy. And I might as well just show one off here. So, what would happen if we added... We will do the back 709 since it's kind of crunchy. And we'll do one of my favorites, this one. Let me just bring our output down. And nice. Look at that. The key with LUTs is to do just like tip number three was. Is reduce the opacity until it looks good. And that, that looks pretty nice. I like that. Consistently good stuff with Brett's Bold Day. Let's see. I'm having fun here. Let's just take a guess. Uh, she loves my crabs. Nice. Nice and cool. A little bit hip. Speaking of hip, I'm sure we've got a hipster one in here. Bad coffee shop. Very hip. So always good stuff in that pack. 
Anyway, that is enough shameless self-promotion. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Once again, I'm Theo with Mission Media. I hope you have a great day, and I will see you next time. Bye.